Hi, my name is Justin Miller from Wowza Media Systems, and I want to talk to you about the process of live video streaming. And what I mean by this is taking information from a digital video camera and transferring it as a live stream over the internet to multiple players. Not just one, but thousands or millions, because really, we're talking about broadcasting to the world. So from the camera, there's a continuous video signal being created. At 4K resolution, this is gigabytes of raw data. In order for it to be streamed over the internet, that data needs to be compressed, going from gigabytes to megabytes. For that, we need to use an encoder, which compresses using codecs, such as H.264. Now, the encoder itself might be built into the camera, but it can also be a standalone appliance, computer software, or mobile app. We offer Wowza Go Coder as a free encoder for your mobile device, but there's also our free Wowza Go Coder SDK to help developers easily build encoding functionality and more into mobile apps. Now, once the video stream is compressed, the video data needs to be packaged into a protocol for transfer over the internet. Packaging means taking a compressed data stream and breaking it up into digestible chunks for a constant stream online. Many encoders use RTMP as a standard. Our own WOWS protocol is built on this. The stream is then either pulled or pushed to a media server. The media server might be on the same system as the encoder or remote somewhere in the cloud. We offer Wowza Streaming Engine as a media server you can install anywhere to enhance and manage on your own, but we also have Wowza Streaming Cloud, a service for those who want to get something up and running quickly without any hassles or management concerns. The media server takes the stream from the encoder and converts it as needed. It may transmux it into a different protocols, transcode the data into a new codec, transrate the data to make multiple versions at different bit rates, and even transsize the data for multiple versions at different resolutions. There are more things a media server can do, but let's first talk about why all this is necessary by looking at who's viewing the stream. Your viewers could be watching on a set-top box, through an internet browser, or an app on a mobile device, and depending on what they're using, they might require a different streaming protocol. There are multiple standards. Also, between viewers, screen resolution and internet connection speed can vary. So this means that by offering your live stream in multiple protocols and multiple versions at different bit rates and resolutions, you're making it more viewable to a larger audience. Thus the need to transmux, transcode, transrate, and transsize. Now for viewing, we offer a free Wowza player for the browser, which uses our Wowza protocol and HLS. Viewers can view at adaptive bit rates, so they'll get the right stream based on their screen size and bandwidth. This also is built into our Wowza GoCoder SDK to implement playback of live video streams through mobile apps. Back to viewers, there's still the issue of distance because we don't know where the viewers are located. The farther they are from the media server, the longer it takes for the signal to reach them. That means a lag or latency from the time something occurs in front of the camera to when it can be seen on the player. And even without the issue of distance, some streaming protocols have a higher latency than others. To resolve this, some broadcasters employ a content delivery network, or CDN. It's a network of media servers spread all over the world, capable of handling a large amount of data. And this makes it possible to offer a signal from a media server close to the viewer. That way there's less latency. Some broadcasters build their own networks using multiple instances of Wowza Streaming Engine, while others use services out there such as Wowza CDN or Wowza Streaming Cloud with ultra low latency. One last thing, there are also social media networks like, well, YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, that offer their own streaming options. And while you can stream directly to these social media networks, you can also use Wowza Streaming Engine or Wowza Streaming Cloud to not only stream your live stream to your own network, but also to their social media networks simultaneously. Live video streaming today is about employing the right tools to offer a growing worldwide viewing audience on multiple platforms and varying locations the best quality video with as little latency as possible. I hope this helps you understand more about broadcasting today. My name is Justin Miller from Wowza Media Systems and I hope you have a great day. Take care.